What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the Umi Digi Power 3. This is a new budget smartphone currently priced at only £126 in the UK and if you're in the US that's $159. Now I picked up the mint green color and you can also get this in red and space gray and I will quickly bring in my iPhone 11 Pro Max so we can compare that beautiful emerald green to Umi Digi's minty green just to give you an idea of the shade of green that's being used by Umi Digi. Now quick look inside the box you have your user manual with Simijet tool, USB type C cable, a small USB C to USB C OTG cable which will be used to reverse charge other smartphones. You're also getting a USB 18 watt fast charger and a silicon smartphone case is included in the box. Now this smartphone is made from a plastic body with metal frame. It almost has a rubberized feel to it, making it feel very grippy in the hands. Also the smartphone is 10.3 millimeters in thickness and weighs 218 grams. Now on the other side you are looking at a 6.53 inch IPS LCD display with a screen resolution of 1080 by 2340 with 395 pixels per inch. Now if we talk about power you have the MediaTek Helio P60 octa-core CPU combined with the Mali G72 with 4 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. You have enough power to play any game you like from the Google Play Store with medium to high graphic settings. So here is some gameplay footage from Call of Duty Mobile. Furthermore, you have a generous 6,150 milliamp hour battery which supports 18 watt fast charging and you can also reverse charge using the included OTG cable. Now along with Bluetooth version 5, you're getting a fairly quick and efficient rear fingerprint sensor along with a fast face unlock. Now at the bottom of the smartphone, you'll find a single speaker, a USB Type-C port, microphone and also a headphone jack. Now on the side we have a triple hybrid SIM card tray which can take two 4G nano SIM cards and you have a dedicated micro SD slot supporting up to 256 gigs. And on the other side we have volume rocker and power button. Now let's have a quick look at the cameras. On the back you have an impressive quad camera setup with a 48 megapixel main, 13 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel depth sensor and you also get a 5 megapixel macro lens and you are able to shoot a maximum video resolution of 1080p with the rear camera and on the front we have a 16 megapixel hole punch corner camera the location is definitely out the way and I do prefer this over notches and teardrops the front camera also shoots a maximum resolution of 720p so let's have a very quick look at the camera app. You've got slow motion, video, photo, 48 megapixel mode, portrait mode, panorama and beauty. And here are a few sample shots for you guys to check out. So we are now shooting 720p video from the front facing camera, Umi Digi Power 3. So 720p video again front facing camera, better lighting situation. It's freezing outside.
So this smartphone is running stock Android version 10. It does indeed feel quite snappy in operation. Nothing at all feels slow and there is no lag no matter what you do on this smartphone. So there you have it guys. That was my quick Umi Digi Power 3 overview. Now the main premium features you get with this smartphone are the quad cameras, stock Android 10, 18 watt fast charging, wired reverse charging at 10 watts, and you also get NFC built in. And if all that was not enough, the massive 6,150 milliamp battery will easily last you two whole days with medium to heavy usage. And if you take a look at our latest smartphone chart, you will find the UmiDigi Power 3 at position 35 with an Antutu benchmark score of 177K. Now the UmiDigi Power 3 is currently available to buy just under £130 depending on where you buy it from. And I have left multiple links in the description box below, especially for your convenience. So bottom line, another new budget smartphone for 2020, which offers some pretty decent features for the price. Let me know what you guys think of this smartphone. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.